Well, Boathouse Road will turn turquoise tonight to raise awareness about lung cancer, the number one cancer killer. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl talked to a family member supporting Philadelphia's turquoise takeover. It's a pretty color mm. for a very serious cause. You know, this is happening around the country. The American Lung Association's Lung Force Project gets landmarks all over the nation to turn turquoise. This week is dedicated to women fighting lung cancer. The rate of new lung cancer cases has almost doubled in women over the last 40 years. In loving memory of our beloved big sister. It's a poster that Betsy Stratton keeps to remember her sister Hannah, who died of lung cancer when she was just 56. I miss her. Our whole family misses her every day. In memory of Hannah and all the others, Boathouse Row will be illuminated Monday night for the turquoise takeover commemorating Women's Lung Health Week. The focus is on women and lung cancer because for so long people really didn't think about women getting lung cancer. It was more focused on men. While smoking is the leading cause, there have been a growing number of young women who develop lung cancer not related to smoking. It was so surprising because she'd been very healthy, very active, never smoked a cigarette in her life, but it took probably six, seven months to get the diagnosis. And that is not atypical. So by the time they diagnosed it, the tumor had spread too far for them to operate. Betsy's family who pays for Boathouse Row to turn turquoise for the evening thinks radon may have caused Hannah's cancer. The colorless, odorless gas that builds up inside buildings is the second leading cause of lung cancer. Out in Chester County where we live, radon is very high. The turquoise takeover aims to raise awareness so more people can be diagnosed early when lung cancer is more treatable and to get funding for research. Betsy hopes so other families can be spared. It was just hard on all of us. We couldn't believe it. The, the thing I thought was so wonderful is she never got angry about it. She never got bitter. Now, across the United States, every five minutes, a woman is told she has lung cancer. And in Pennsylvania, just this year, it is estimated 10,000 men and women will be diagnosed with lung cancer. Still big numbers yeah. out there. Love more information on the Lung Force Project and campaign for you at cbsphilly.com. Click on health. All right, Steph, thank you. Thank you.